So 7, 12, 13-ish, usually the time we bring out Orion PC Trimble from the back to the forefront, <laughs> and we've done it from once again. From behind the camera to in front of the camera. Oh, yeah. Thank and you for I having would me imagine guys. Um, something Irish is trending this yes. morning, I would hope, Yes, right? yes, yes, the <laughs> most Irish thing. You know, St. Patrick's Day, as I'm sure all of you have heard just about a million times, it's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> um, I wore these in honor. I have had these for years. My mother got them what for me. What just happened? I'm not supposed to take my shirt off as well, am I? <laughs> Oh, I want it so much. Oh, he wants to wear the hat, too. All right. Good. There you go. As we all know, whoa, it landed on my head. Today is St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. Um, and you're going to hear that, you know, more and more as the day goes on. Uh, now, me being the good uh, secret hipster that I am, uh, I just decided I would ruin the fun for you a little bit. Uh, the HuffPost put together a list of things that you're actually getting wrong about St. Patrick's Day, and here are my favorites. Of course, everyone wears green today, but St. Patrick's uh, color is actually blue. Oh. Yeah, we wear green because a lot later on, Ireland came to be associated with the color green, you know? Hmm. Um, and uh, here's another fun fact. Uh, St. Patrick probably wasn't even Irish. His parents were Roman citizens who were living in Roman England, which encompassed what we now know is England, Scotland, and Wales. So he really could have been from just about anywhere over there. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the holiday itself uh, existed over there as a saint's holiday, but it was popularized here in America by Irish immigrants, largely as a way to celebrate their heritage and the Irish-American community. Yes, and finally, what is even the importance of having it on today's date? Well, today is the day they, that St. Patrick died. So just, you know, sort of think about that as you're getting wildly smashed throughout the day. That's, <laughs> that's why you're, you're drinking up. And maybe wear some blue, too, if you're maybe, Yeah, maybe wear some blue. If you, and <laughs> Mix some blue in with your green this morning. Exactly, and then make friends with everyone by telling them these facts, because everyone <laughs> loves to be corrected, I'm sure. I, I figured there was some sort of, it's been Americanized yes, a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, I think it's, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, all holidays, no, I mean, no holidays are exactly what they started out yeah. being. So. Definitely interesting. Yeah. I like sh Chicago. I've been to Chicago during St. Patrick's. They, they oh. died in Chicago River of Green, which I just always think is really cool. Oh, I love I that. I saw a video of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. really neat. Yeah. That is neat. What's All that? Right. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That's the St. Patrick's Day Parade where they sing uh, the... Uh, Shake it up, baby. Yeah. But, that, I, but was, it, was it green in the movie? I don't I think so, they yeah. They showed the river. Uh, I think it was. Yeah, but it's so, neat. Sorry, it's I didn't mean to hijack. No, no, no. You're <laughs> absolutely allowed to. Where they do, uh, they do the Beatles song, at the, yeah. that's at the St. Patrick's Day Parade. I still haven't seen that whole movie. Oh my gosh. I know. It's old. It's a I'm 90s sorry. movie? Wow. 80s, 80s probably. 80s movie? Yeah. yeah. 88, I need to see it. 87. If you're my oh, son, I'd send you to your room right now. <laughs> We've gone over this. Okay, so besides when I, when I checked Twitter this morning to see what was trending, uh, in the same spot as St. Patrick's Day, I saw something that was a lot more serious, uh, which is Crimea. Uh, did I say that right? Crimea. Crimea. I, Excuse me. I looked it up too. Crimea. And the final results are in for the very controversial referendum in which citizens voted to join Russia. The result was 97% in favor of joining Russia. Now, that said, a lot of people are just straight up ignoring that. Uh, Kiev is not accepting it as, as a real result, and neither are Washington or London. Mm. In fact, William Hague, the British Foreign Secretary, tweeted that, uh, quote, the UK will not recognize Crimea, uh, the referendum, and we are calling for strong uh, European Union response. And that was retweeted by Britain's Prime Minister David Cameron, and there was a similar tweet out from the Secretary of State, um, uh, John Kerry. Uh, this afternoon or yesterday afternoon when that came in so a lot of countries are just um they don't want to i don't know if they think the vote was bogus or rigged i've or heard kind of like mixed results that people don't think it should have happened to begin with and i've also heard that it was kind of rigged you know because you know, if you see interviews with normal Crimeans on the street, not everyone really wants to join Russia that badly. And then for it to be 97%, mm -hmm. you know, there's something kind of fishy about that. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see in the coming days. Now, finally, to lighten the mood a little bit, we're going to watch a silly dog video, which I think is... is yes. Is Those are always fun. It's always awesome. So one guy put up a camera to see if his dog would get on his bed when he was out of the house. <laughs> and, uh, all right, we'll take a look at this. So he gets up on the bed, right? Oh, no. And he, like, looks around. No, no, no. Wait for it. No, no. Please He's, tell me no. I don't know what you're thinking, Colin. Okay. I know what I'm I thinking. I know what Colin's thinking. And it involves a leg lifting. Okay. No, that doesn't happen. Oh. But he's just getting just, his smell on. He just has absolutely the time <laughs> of his life. Um, and he was hesitant at first. It almost looked yeah. like he was looking around. Okay. He wasn't sure what to do. Is anybody wasn't sure in what here? To do. And of course, you could have guessed my favorite is actually not the dog, but the cat. The cat. Sitting over like, in the right-hand corner. Oh, I didn't like, even notice it. Yeah. What the actual heck are you doing right now, dog? <laughs> just sitting there. The dog's like, this is the best day ever, you guys. I love this! <laughs> I think that's so cute. I love it. No, I thought this video was very silly. Oh. It was trending all over. A lot of people were sharing it. So, I bet. I'll share with you guys. You know, Colin cat. likes it. <laughs>
Ah, I like your caption for the dog. That was great. Well, uh, <laughs> so many dogs. Dog. Yeah. I wonder, did it say he wasn't allowed on the bed? He, he was not allowed on the bed. And up when he's leaving. Yes. The okay. Yeah, and the, and the master <laughs> put up that security camera on purpose because he kept telling the dog to get off the bed, and there was always hair on it. So he figured he wanted to see what he was doing, and that is what he is doing. And now he knows the cat gets up there as well. Yes, which is what I well, what I imagine when we leave Colin in the studio. That's what he does. He it just is. gets up on everything <laughs> and rolls actually, on the desk. I actually do that on Kim's desk. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just, yeah, it's awesome. Oh. My dog, uh, incidentally, likes to do that as well. He is allowed on the bed. However, uh, whenever we give him a bone, we always find the sheets all bunched together. He hides the bones oh. in the beds. That is his deal. I think that means that's his territory now. I think it does. Yeah, he's just, you're just borrowing it from him. That's what he does. You are sharing the bed with the dog. It's pretty cute. That is cute. Yeah. How's the weather? What's the weather doing? It's weather time? I know allegedly we're supposed to do weather next. So I didn't I know if they... <laughs> like nominally bring it up. I didn't know if there was some other uh, dog story to do. That's it. That's all. That's the dogs. I like the hat. That's uh, Caroline's mom got me that hat. Thank you, Miss Walter. Pretty cool. <laughs> it was wonderful. It's a great hat. And it is really nice hat. Thank you for lending it to me. Colin. You're welcome. This outfit. You can wear it for the rest of the day. Uh, continued showers here through the afternoon. We'll see those high temperatures moving up to about 47 degrees. Dreary conditions are expected. Uh, shower activity as you head home as well. Uh, it does look like today's the worst day out of the next seven, so there's that. That's uh, optimism would say that uh, everything's going to get better from here. The pessimist would say that this is the worst day of the week. Choose your battles. 68 degrees on Wednesday, 69 degrees for Thursday. We get into the weekend with a pretty good looking forecast there with high temperatures around room temperature there. 73 degrees and 72 for Saturday. A 40% chance of precipitation as a cold front rolls through on Sunday.